recently the IAB implemented five key principles on gender diversity. So this month, in MENA Voices, we decided to ask our members what they think about diversity, what it does in terms of business impact, and of course what we as individuals and companies can do to support it. So when you think about diversity in our region, what springs to mind? I think of how highly diverse this region is, ethnically, culturally, religiously and economically. All these different realities, living and interacting every day in the same place. What really jumps out to me is just this need for more urgency. The region is just moving at a much slower pace than other markets. What you see is at a junior level, the workforce is actually pretty balanced. But as women get older and there's this challenge around juggling the family dynamic with your career, a lot of women actually just leave the workplace. Add to that any traditional or cultural barriers, and it leaves us in a pretty sparse position when it comes to women in leadership. When I think of diversity in the industry, two roles come to my mind. One, how diverse is our members that shape up the industry and lead the industry. But second, how diverse is the content that we create, uh, which highly influences consumers. Content is a very powerful tool, um, which has a very high impact on the role of diversity in our community. So uh, when we talk about things like stereotyping in advertising, uh, we can see a great impact on uh, gender equality. So we know that diversity is important from a social point of view. What impact does it have on businesses? Women empowerment is the core driver behind social and economic development. I believe that supporting women will always have a multiplier effect and returns on an individual business, but also at a more macro level, resulting in social and economic development. The UN, IMF, and many other leading institutions have proven time and again that greater gender equality and women empowerment boost economic growth. The impact on the bottom line is measurable. Boosting the number of women in work is not just a moral imperative, but it has a measurable impact on the bottom line. Companies with more diverse leadership teams report higher innovation revenue. 45% of total revenue versus just 26%. Studies have proved the importance of board diversity in triggering more creative solutions to business problems and enhancing corporate performance and competitiveness. There was a topic in the recent McKinsey report which compared male and female counterparts when it comes to management of staff. And what the report indicated was that female managers are actually a lot more consistent when it comes to checking in on employee well-being. And it's really important to recognize the link between people being happy at work, retention of staff, and then the overall reputation of your business. Customers come from all sorts of backgrounds and walks of life. So the more makeup of your organization reflects your customer's diversity, the more likely that you'll relate to them and able to communicate effectively with them. So what role can we as men play in supporting gender diversity? Men play a really crucial role when it comes to supporting gender diversity in the workplace. And for me, the foundation of this is really around educating yourself. Deep dive into the research because the pure facts will really open your eyes and your mind to understand how women are consistently overlooked for the work that they do and have to do so much more to be recognized. Now, given that CEOs in our region are predominantly men, they have a huge role to play in terms of role modeling and empowering women in the workplace. Men in the workplace can play a very important role. Challenging bias, for example. This bias often surfaces in the way that women are described in performance reviews. If a woman speaks in a direct style and promotes her own ideas, she's often seen as aggressive or too ambitious. If a man does the same, he's seen as strong and confident. Do you believe there's enough progress being made at the moment? We have witnessed inspiring progress on gender diversity across the MENA region. UAE-listed companies are now required to have at least one woman on their board. While the Saudi government has set an ambitious target to increase female participation in the workforce to 30% as part of Vision 2030, enabling women to reach the top is still a challenge today that hasn't been unlocked in our region. I do believe the progress has been made. For example, in recent years, the UAE introduced three months paid maternity leave for government employees, increasing pressure on the private sector to keep up. There have been initiatives as well about equal pay for equal work in the private sector. Moreover, the new labor law that will come into effect in February 2022 is part of the UAE's efforts to empower women in the private sector. 
It offers more flexibility of working times, extended maternity leave, equal pay, and anti-harassment provisions. So what is that one thing that we can all do to make a difference? The one thing that everyone should do in order to make a difference is to be intentional about diversity. Have diversity as a core corporate value, but more importantly, as a personal value and secure executive sponsorship to ensure that diversity topics make it to the CEO agenda and cascade down to all tiers of the organization. Work on diversity should not be tied to one day, month or year. I think the one thing that people can do within an organization to support gender diversity is just making space to have these conversations consistently. We need to be brave and actually talk about gender bias. The, the reality is these conversations are tough, they're awkward, they're uncomfortable, but we have to have them. I think instead of saying the right thing, just change that to a positive intention. A positive intention translates into positive action, and that positive action can actually make a change.